All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be comparing sensor devices, i.e. iPads, iPhones, phones, tablets, etc, etc, whatever you want to call it, against PCs, who has the advantage and who has the disadvantage. We're basically comparing both uh, devices and the way people play on them. So basically, uh, we're going to be starting off with PC, because this is what most people start off their gaming, uh, well, we can't call it career, but basically their gamer days are started with PC. Obviously, aiming on PCs is a lot, lot easier compared to mobile devices because the mouse just feels more natural to the hand and shooting more accurately, especially those hatches and weak spots, is a lot faster um, because of our, you know, muscle memory. Human reflexes are a lot quicker. Just look at uh, shooter games like CSGO or other shooter games where, you know, pro players flick shot super easily. I myself used to play CS a long time ago. I used to play more or less semi-professional and uh, shooting is a lot more natural when you have a mouse obviously when you have a mobile device flicking your hand or finger through the touch screen is a lot lot harder hitting hatches is almost impossible in the game unless you use the um, the auto aim to help you other than that obviously PC is again a lot easier to shoot with uh, on top of this PC also have a lot of bot players that come from mobile some players don't turn on the uh, same device matchmaking, which uh, makes PC players spawn in with uh, mobile players. And now PC players can shoot more accurately, they're a lot more dominant. However, again, a lot of PC players go up against PC players, so the uh, so the accuracy or the, uh, the, uh, the comfortability pretty much goes away, unless they go up against a mobile player, which happens quite often, and they tend to be uh, more or less noobs. But apart from this, PC devices aren't that well optimized to play World of Tanks Blitz, even if you have a $5,000 PC, the game isn't well optimized for PC, especially on Steam, it will lag a lot. I've heard a lot of issues in this regard, and I think this is something Wargaming should work on. On the contrary, mobile devices are more or less decently optimized. I'm not saying the game is, runs perfect on everything, because the game really, really sucks. It's not optimized on anything well, but it's optimized a lot better on mobile. On top of this, auto-aim is very, very good on PC. Why? Because you can pretty much run and shoot at the same time because of auto-aim. On the mobile devices, it's quite hard. You're going to miss a lot of shots, especially if you're running away on a medium tank and you're trying to shoot back at the enemy. It's going to be quite hard indeed. Uh, on top of this, um, mobile devices again have a lot of bot players. They have a lot of bot players because not everyone plays on decent devices. Some people are playing on some, uh, you know, old Chinese knockoff Android devices or something like this, or, uh, you know, some old devices that run at 20 FPS or something like that. And therefore, you know, most of the time you're going to be going up against more or less inexperienced players. Uh, on top of this, PC players, you know, even if you have a microwave instead of a PC, it's going to run blitz more or less 50 to 60 FPS, even though it's not as well optimized. So that's that. Uh, these are pretty much the biggest differences. It's in terms of aiming and uh, the people you're going up against. Other than that, there aren't too many differences. In terms of graphics especially, the graphics are more or less the same. But uh, tell me in the comment section what device you play in and uh, what device you feel more comfortable playing in because I know some people like to use PCs because they feel more comfortable in them. Some people like to use mobile devices like me because it just feels weird playing a mobile game on a PC, pretty much on a computer. But with that, this video comes to an end. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you guys next time. Happy is out. Bye-bye.